go to YouTube, uh, it's of course Leviathan Prophecy, and um, you know, I want I really wanted to do this video <clears throat> because um, I really wanted y'all to you know be more in tune of you know what type of you know uh, cartoons or superheroes obviously I'm into. Um, now I know a lot of people might have different types of superheroes, you, you know, like the limit of superheroes, you know, it may differ, you know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all might have, you know, five superheroes y'all like, some might have three, some might have two, one, six, seven, you know what I'm saying? Um, but for me, I only have two. And the reason why I have two is because the reason why I have two superheroes is because um, I just feel like you know it. It's more easier for me because I just think that you know with the more superheroes you have, the more you'll like interest in all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have five superheroes, like, let's say, you know, Superman and, and Spider-Man are your two favorite superheroes, you're going to constantly, you know, go back and forth saying, well, Spider-Man is this, well, Superman is this, well, Spider-Man can do this better, or Superman can do this ten times better, so it's just a back and forth ongoing slot, that's why I do everything in two, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of like a pattern. You know, why I have two NFL teams, why I only have one NBA team, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, um, my two favorite superheroes of all time, uh, man, which order I'm going to put them in? Um, all right, number one, I'm going to go with Batman, because obviously Batman... Uh, you know, he was my childhood hero. I grew up watching Batman. You know, the animated series debuted in 1992. I was born in 1992. So, um, you know, you know, I just grew up with him. You know, just like how y'all was, just like how y'all grew up watching Boomerang with Scooby-Doo and the Jeffersons. I grew up watching Batman, you know. Um, and then obviously the second, um... One is Goku. Um, you could call him Son Goku. You could call him Goku. Um, it means something in Chinese, though. I'm not. I'm not. I think it means like the the, the a young rising star or a young something. Um, but Goku to me is the ultimate warrior. You know. Uh, you know he sacrificed a lot. He actually died a lot. He came back to life. He defeated every single one of the villains you can think of in Dragon Ball. There's not one single villain that he hasn't destroyed. You know, he had epic battles between Frieza and Cell. Uh, you know, Majin Buu with the all three phases. You know, Kid Buu, Majin Buu, Big Fat Buu. Uh, you know, he, he he's dealt with the androids. He's still with baby Vegeta. I mean, he's been through it all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously he had help with from. Um, I mean, he had help with some of his friends of defeating some of these guys, like Omega Shinron. Uh, but that was in GT. GT was like a whole nother, you know, whole nother episode. Um... But I'm just talking about the Dragon Ball Z era. You know, first it was Dragon Ball, then it was Dragon Ball Z, and then it's Dragon Ball GT. Uh, Dragon Ball Z had 192 episodes. That's a lot. Um, but he was just an ultimate warrior, man. A strong, tough leader. Uh, you know, I mean, th there's like a pattern to all my superheroes, you know. I like my superheroes to be smart. I like to my superheroes to be a leader. And I love my superheroes to be, you know, 
just badass, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, I know a lot of people may not find Batman to be a superhero because he, he doesn't have any powers, you know? But, you know, being smart can be a power, you know what I'm saying? Like fighting crime, being a detective, you know, learning, you know, a hundred and... I think he learned like 152 martial arts. You know, Kwan Tan Do, um, he learned jiu-jitsu. He learned Sayome. I think, I, I, believe, I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Sayome. So he learned a whole bunch of different karate moves. Um, you know, Kwan Tai Do. I mean, he learned a lot of jiu-jitsu, like I said. So he, he's learned a lot of combat fighting skills over his training. Um, so there you have it, you know, if I would have had a third s superhero, which I don't, it would have been Spider-Man. Spider-Man is another superhero that I kind of, you know, tilted to, you know, I'm not saying that he's my favorite, he I I'm not saying that he's my third s favorite superhero, but if I had a third superhero, he would have been number three, you know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, man, that was, I mean, that's that's about it, you know. Um, Y'all can let me know who's your favorite superheroes of all time is. You know, I don't have Superman. I never liked Superman, to be honest with you. You know, uh, for the ones who don't know, Superman is actually a, is actually an alien. He's not even human. I mean, or he's, he might be half human, half alien. I don't know. But, you know, um, he's not an ideal, you know, superhero. Because I believe if you gave, I believe if you gave Batman, if you switched the universes around and you gave Batman, you gave Superman Batman's rogue gallery and you gave Superman's, you gave Batman Superman's villains, I doubt you Batman would have gone crazy. Superman would have gone crazy. Superman would have gone crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, you have to be into that psychological mindset to deal with damn Batman's role gallery. I tell you, you know, Penguin, Joker, Riddler, like, they all don't have superpowers, but the funny thing about it is they can mind fuck you into the existence where you can't even think no more. Like, the Man Hatter. You know, that's another one. You know, he plays tricks and illusions on you. Superman is not the smartest tool in the shed. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's just, like, he only he's only known for combat fighting and saving the world. You know? Like, if there's a clue or if the Riddler leads clues around. I'm not saying that Superman is dumb, but aliens are not really that smart. To be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm pretty sure, you know, he can figure it out. You know what I'm saying? He can see through things. He can, you know, shoot laser beams at his eyes. So technically, Superman would have probably killed all of Rogue's gallery altogether. You know, Freeze, he doesn't have powers. Um, he basically uses gadgets. Bat, uh, Joker, he doesn't have powers, <laughs> but he has uh, masters in psychological and warfare. You know what I'm saying? Like he can, he can mind fuck you. He can take you out your element just by talking downward to you. You know what I'm saying? Like he has that cool type swagger to him where he can say, "Hello, bats. Nice day we having, huh?" Joker, are you going to buy? Yeah, uh, sure. I don't know. Like day we having bats, and then he might Joker merge. Batman might mess around and say, "Joker, are you going to Arkham Asylum?" And then Joker might reply, "You know, I was thinking the same thing." And then he, you know he goes off with his crazy rants and stuff. But I mean. The dude would drive you crazy, man. <laughs> the dude, the dude would drive you crazy. Like, if you were to sit in the room with Joker for, for ten hours, 
you would come out mentally insane. Like, I'm not even joking with you, you know? Like, he just has that way with people, dog. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. But, uh, yeah, man, those are just two of my, those are just two of my, um, my favorite superheroes. Uh, you know, um, so, like I say, you know, comment on down below. Who's your favorite superheroes of all time? It could be past, it could be present, um, it could be future. But, you know, those two, nobody can beat, to be honest with you. You know, I mean, those two are highly, their name says it for himself, themselves, you know. Um, I mean, Batman's been here for a long time. Goku's been here for a long time. So, you know, you put those two together, you put those two together that's the ultimate team to beat. You know what I'm saying? Because Batman got the brains and then he, Batman got the brains and he got the comeback fighting and Goku also has the, you know, comeback fighting and he has a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.